Hi, I am Leela Dhar Rajput and I am going to uh, mod do model analysis using the Abacus softwares for the cantilever beam. So here there are some steps to do the analysis using the software. So first we are going to model our parts. So for that we have to go and we will change the name here like a cantilever. So using this and we have to uh, take it 3d deformable body then i will continue then the this is the screen uh, of a sketch sketch we have to draw the sketch here so i will take a rectangle uh, the dimensions i will uh, mention here so what is the dimension here so for height i'm going to take i'm going to take point 25 mm so point 0.025 and uh, then I am going to take height I am going to take height height I am going to take 0 0.0205 0 For this part, I will take point zero two five. After that, I will go to extrude this. So for that, we have to uh, use this button, and I will do. And uh, this depth I am going to take, or that is length that I am going to take 2 meter so this after doing this I will get this is the uh, my beam where uh, which I am going to design now after doing this I am going to do uh, de define the property so for the defining the property I will click to the property then I will go to this uh, create material so in this material we have to define two things first is the density i am going to take density 1700 kg per meter cube and then in the mechanical property i am going to define the young modulus so on young modulus i am going to take 200 gigapascal 200 gigapascal and then Poisson's ratio i am going to take 0.3 so after doing this i am uh, and i have taken this is isotropic materials because i am going to take the steel so i will do this and uh, i will make it okay then uh, i have to create the sections so for this uh, i i will be going to take uh, cantilever cantilever sections and homogeneous material I am going to take I am going to take the solid body then I will continue so here the material one which we have taken that is already coming here so now I will make it okay then after that in this property only I am going to assign the sections that sections this this sections completely I am going to take so that is uh, you can take set one or you can name it so I, I did this so here uh, it is showing that the cantilever beam is uh, defined the materials and because of this now the material property is applied here after this uh, giving the property um, I am I have to give the assembly so here we have to uh, create assembly so in the assembly part there is no need to change anything we are we are doing uh, this so we have to take the same as it is so this way we can uh, take this <clears throat> hmm. 
after this assembly part i will go to the next step step here it, this is very important part so i have to create steps so for this is creating the steps uh, this uh, first we have to take the linear perturbation and our aim is to determine the frequency so for the uh, frequency part i have to um, take the frequency then continue here i will take this uh, subspace because i need 10 eigen value as defined in the uh, problems so this is the um, 10 uh, eigen value i have defined then i will make it okay after that i will be going to uh, use the field output so here this is very important field output because here i have to define the stresses what we are going to use so i i, I have to use this uh, this one and uh, one misses uh, then strain no this part i am going to take so only this part is okay this u translation and then then we can do it okay after this steps we will go to the next step that is uh, in interactions part so here no interactions is necessary so uh, we will go for uh, further we have to assign the loading condition so for the model analysis no load is required as of now so because we are doing the uh, pre vibration so I will give the boundary conditions. So here we have to create the boundary condition that is uh, uh, boundary conditions. Uh, so we can take this is uh, boundary conditions and uh, then I will continue. So after this I have to uh, define the phase. So uh, this uh, phase I can take this then uh, this is the fixed beam, a fixed cantilever. That means uh, this, uh, there is no uh, translation motion and no rotational motion. So we can uh, take these options and we can make it okay. Then uh, this this is the it is very clear. You can check this. So this is the um, fixed end. Now this boundary condition we have already developed. After this, I am going to use the meshing this is a very important missing part so now let us go to the missing part so in this missing part first we have to uh, seed the uh, parts so so here generally we we are taking parts so that's why uh, we have to take this part then uh, we have to take this uh, approximate size it is giving 0 0.01 so i may increase the size to 0.02 so here and then uh, we can apply so that is a good kind of uh, missing you can say that or we can take 0 0.03 so then i can apply let i will try using point two if there is any error while running then we can change it uh, this uh, we have done after this we have to take the meshing uh, this this is the meshing it look uh, very nice meshing so let us uh, see this is the meshings then after doing meshings uh, we'll go to the uh, job part so i have to assign uh, job so here i can take it is a model analysis so i can take it model analysis then here we have we have to take the default options so this is the default options then uh, i will uh, go to this so now this is uh, already file i have saved now we have to uh, check the data whether it is correct or not so for that i can uh, use
this so here we can check the monitors what it is coming so now data check is completed and there is no issue after that i will submit it for the final uh, model analysis so i am going to submit so i have submitted and uh, i can check these monitors here if any error will occur it will so ah, so there is no error so now i can check this part is completed analysis part so i can check results from here so let us click on the results so see this is the result so now it look like uh, good uh, it is very good so this is the uh, model analysis for the parts so here i can check different model and different uh, mode shapes so let us check this is the mode one so it is very easy to understand then we can check this is the second mode and then i can check this is mode three similarly this is the next mode so in this way we can check the mode shapes four mode shapes i have used so let us i will uh, show the animations this is uh, good to see this uh, mode shapes so here uh, let us check the uh, animations for this mode so it will look like this if it is mode 1 and if it is mode 4 when i will take some other mode you can check this is uh, mode number 3 so i can animate from here so here you can check this is uh, completely mode 1 mode 2 uh, it is showing and how it will look like when it gets higher frequency so in this way uh, i can check these animations here there are many other options we can check so this is uh, another scale factor so we can do the scalings also and this is mode 2 so we can check the scaling factor so here uh, we can check this 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 point deformations is zero uh, so but stress is highest but if i want to check the deformation so here the deformation you can check the highest point where deformation is coming the highest so let us uh, uh, stop here uh, to this uh, animations part so this is the analysis different mode sets so thank you for watching this uh, video thank you